So a sixth skill tree. What is it there? What is it for? Was it cut from the game? Is it something they will add in a future DLC? Today people we speculate on what this is. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. So many of you have probably noticed that within your characters tab, there is a Sith skill tree, which results to absolutely nothing. I have completed this game numerous times, done almost every single quest the game has, and nothing. And I ain't the only one either. People have searched high and low to try and figure out why there is a Sith attribute skill, yet when you hover over it, it glitches out. It has no name and does absolutely nothing. So why is it here? Well, speculation is rife on this one, but firstly it's important to start from the very, very beginning. So earlier on, within the first gameplay trailers and footage we saw, we originally had a Sith skill tree, as you can see on the screen now, within like I said this very, very early footage. We see the addition of constitution and strength. Now over time I do believe these were rolled up into one, which we now see as body. That may not be 100% correct, names could have changed and others could have rolled into one I ain't certain. But we had 6, then 5, which is fair enough. But in my opinion after the years of development that's gone into this game, and the fact the whole design and construct of that character attributes tab has changed, there shouldn't still be an empty skill as a result of them combining two. That just wouldn't happen. So why is it here? Well, many people including myself believe this was actually meant to be a skill tree that progresses forward with us which directly affects Johnny Silverhand in a way in which our relationship goes. The one major point of evidence to this theory which I know sounds crazy right now, but it's the fact that if you go ahead and start a new character, create a new V, apply those attributes and start the game. If you go into your characters tab and check, there isn't actually a Sith skill tree there. And guys what gets even weirder here is the fact this Sith skill tree doesn't appear until you get that biochip plugged into your cranium after that heist mission, which again injects Johnny Silverhand into your head. Check for yourselves, create a new character, have a look, there is no Sith attribute. But like I said as soon as you complete that heist mission, Go on to implant that biochip which contains Johnny. This Sith skill tree or attribute then shows up. So why? And I honestly don't understand because I'm pretty sure this would have been something shown beforehand, before release. But nothing has been mentioned. So why does this appear when Johnny becomes a part of you? Now the speculation surrounding this is kind of big with many people thinking it's content that has been cut to meet demands on an earlier than right release and was cut along with many other parts of the game. I mean this could be a possibility, but if I'm honest I don't think it was. Some people believe this will be part of a future content DLC expansion, where we will get a new attribute skill with extra levels at the same time. This makes sense to me, but what doesn't make sense is the fact it still only appears when Johnny enters your body. I mean this alone proves that 6th or 7th or 8th skill trees can be added at a later date as it isn't there when we start the game. So why would it be added when Johnny enters us if it's for future content? That doesn't make sense. What I actually think it is people is exactly what it is. This is added just to show us that Johnny is now a part of us. As this whole skill tree attribute page is basically our soul of our character. When Johnny becomes a part of our soul, he's added here. I don't think there was ever any intention for us to be able to upgrade perks here and I don't think anything was ever cut either. Let's face it, this game is crazy in depth, even if a lot of that depth has been taken away, being cut out of the game, what remains is still crazy. And this is just one addition to that, one little extra feature. This sixth skill tree is Johnny, nothing more, nothing less. I mean I hope I'm wrong and this is for the future, but I just don't think that's the case. But people tell me your thoughts on this down below. What do you think this sixth tree is? Do you think it's cut content, content for the future? Or do you think it's just there to represent Johnny when he's a part of us? A good way of actually figuring out if this is CDPR's intention of adding this here when Johnny's a part of us is if you do the ending where you and Panem go off and you leave Johnny behind with Alt in Soul Killer. Check your menu there and see if this sixth skill tree is still there. That would probably answer this question. And it's probably something I will do at a later date and let you guys know. 
But yeah, let me know what you think about this down below within that comment section. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.